Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of No Man's Sky. When we left off, I apparently grabbed this, Expeditionist, just by walking, so there's that. Uh, and we also did the triangulation of the signal to try and find Artemis. And as we have, at least an idea. Now I need to go to a hollow terminus and uh, figure out where he is. But I could also bring the anomaly close, which I kind of want to do, and uh, talk with them, them being Nada and Polo, to see if uh, there's any Anything that they could tell me about this next thing coming up. And also, I'm going to see if I can find a cheaper addition to my fleet. Not much cheaper. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, bring in. That's not the one I was thinking of, but okay. Let's check them. Cheaper, but uh, not that much cheaper. Okay, so we'll go to you and talk to you. You are not cheaper. That is actually a bad thing. That would have made it cheaper, but at the same time, I don't want that. So, uh, talk to you. What do you got going on? You're a merchant vessel, and you have nothing good there, and you're not <laughs> affordable at all either. Jesus. Okay, you know what? I seem to have struck out with the entirety of this fleet here. So I'm just going to go to the space station, sell the crap I don't need, and then I'll go to the anomaly, which is over there anyway, and then talk to Nada and Polo about Artemis then. Okay. And there we go. Perfect. Ah. Now, last episode, I had an issue with uh, dust in my apartment, and I completely forgot I had left the window wide open. I will be right back. There we go. Okay. Okay, window is now closed. And we have a couple ships near us. Are they worth picking up? Don't think so. But, they're here. And there's, in fact, two twin ships. Interesting. Huh. Anyway. Time to sell my stuff that I do not need. Uh, we're going to sell Corvax casing. Yes. Buy. Scaly meat. Absolutely do not need. Buy. Gek relic. Don't need. Buy. Albu Albumin pearl. Don't need. Buy. Um, Viking dagger. Buy. Don't need that. Uh, didn't realize that was still on my person, though. Interesting. And the leopard fruit from that new companion that we got last episode. Um, yeah. We'll get rid of that, too. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right. And with that done... Oh, that ship looks kind of interesting. 
interesting enough for me to try and buy it? No. But, it does look interesting. I'll give it that. I gotta check something, too. Make sure that I did get... I did get the thing. Okay, cool. Did get the exosuit upgrade that I could buy here. Alright. Yeah, that might... Well, this one also looks interesting. Looks a little lopsided, but does look interesting. Uh, let me see what you got going on with your ship, buddy. Skoyarsk. Skoyarsk. That's a hell of a name. Alright. Uh, let me look at your ship. It's not much better than mine, I don't think. No, it's not. Not at all, in fact. Oh. Your ship is classed as an explorer. Didn't know that was a thing. Mine is classed as a fighter, so... Well, I win. <laughs> but your ship is cheap. Cheap enough for me to want to buy it? No. But... It is cheap. Well... Didn't think I'd see a pink ship, but here we are. All right. Let's get out of here. Eh. Let's head out of here. Done with that. Oh, that ship looked cool. Not cool enough for me to go back. All right. And let's go to the anomaly over here. All right. Begin docking approach. All right. Artemis Kanata, and I've apparently accumulated salvage data to do some cool stuff with it. Oh, speaking of cool stuff, that ship. Lord of Hollows the Dunes starship. That looks kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. Man, oh man. Alright, well first, let's see what I can buy with my salvage data before we do anything else. Alright. Cool. I have 14, which means I can get that technology I was hoping for. This. This, 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 this. The Galactic Trade Terminal. That way I can have it on my frigate. I will never have to get off the frigate as much as I currently do ever again. <laughs> Alright, cool, 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 cool. Although having a medium refiner would be nice too, but that'll be something we deal with later. I currently have four, all I need is six more salvage data and I can buy that. Okay, that's fair. Romer Geobay. I could also just buy this instead. Or the Romer Medium Exocraft. Huh. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay. Alright. In that case, let's go over to Nada. Talk to them. Some butts is just sitting inside of them right now. Nada saw a signal, traveler friend. Did you connect to Artemis entity? Artemis friend wishes to meet other travelers? But they have. It seems Artemis friend has forgotten Nada. Curious. It is good to help this entity, traveler friend, but Nada advises caution. Well, then who are they? Artemis entity was, is a traveler entity. One like you. Nada had made them safe. They were known to Nada. This entity may be Artemis Entity, but a different iteration. Another way for Artemis Entity to be. What does that mean? Or fraud. The universe does not like our little home. We do not acknowledge their rules, and they would punish us. Interesting. 
I got Quicksilver for that. And then there's also these people all clustered around. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Do you have anything to say, Polo? How about you? Not a friend guides lost anomalies to our home. Makes them safe from the Crimson Hunter. Nada is great friend indeed. Okay, what do you say about Artemis then? Perhaps Artemis' friend has forgotten us. That would be sad. Or, I will think that Artemis' friend has traveled somewhere where they have not met us yet. What does that mean? What do you mean by that? Um... Okay. I don't think I can understand that. But I forgot that there's some that will give me nanites or things. Helios! Ah, young one. You still roam the boundaries of this universe. How I envy you. My time out in reality has long passed, but I do so miss it. Perhaps you might help an old soul and share the things you've seen. I miss the feeling of dirty hands and hard work, grafting among the rocks and the soil. Well, I can give you data about minerals. Thank you, little one. You have no idea what this means to me. Please, take these nanites. They are nothing, but they are all I have now. Interesting. That's a lot of nanites. Thank you. Thank you. That's a lot more than I figured. Ares, talk to you. Traveler hopes to make progress. Traveler tests themselves. I will help in exchange. Progress for progress. Or wealth, perhaps. Experience or materials. Both valid. Today, Gravitino Ball. Well, I don't have those, but I do have milestone data. You have seen much, but do you understand? Not for me to know. Please, take this. Well, I didn't get a lot from you, but that's understandable, considering I haven't done that many milestone things lately. Uh, can I talk to you, Cronus? Who are you? The life form sniffs at me with a derisory look. Derisory look. I don't know how to pronounce that. Trying to detect the items I carry from scent alone. Present creature pellets. Ellipses. I do not believe anything more unpleasant has ever passed my lips. How did you ruin creature pellets so? Well, fuck you too, dude. Jesus. Egg secrets. Oh, is this, is this where we do the egg thing from our creature... Companions, genetic input, I assume that's the egg, and then you can put different things in it. Dye injector, gene splitter, growth hormone, neural calibrator. Interesting. No idea what they do <laughs> at all. But that is that is something. Okay, let's talk to you two. Uh, have I talked to you before? Yeah. Greetings, kindred. Again, impossibly, we meet in the flesh. Touch their shoulder. Hesperus glances down at the contact, seemingly reassured by it. They nod gratefully, momentarily at peace. Interesting. Iteration Gemini. A pleasure to see your familiar face. Thank you for saying hello. Okay. I've said hello. <laughs> Why do I sound like friend dog? <laughs> Monica from fucking the Game Grumps playthrough. Hello? I am Monica. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, I'm an idiot. Okay. Mercury. Iteration. Okay. Have you stood before a portal, stranger? Felt it leach the life from your skin? Felt your chest burning as its power starts to melt your very being? I haven't felt that. 
I thought not. Few have. Fewer still live to tell of it. I stood before the portal at Suleth Prime, but did not cross the threshold. I reached out. Only the tip of my finger grazed the gateway. The next moment, I awoke aboard the anomaly. I was transformed. The gateway here does not have the power of the ancient monoliths, though it shares aspects of their network. Use it as you wish, not with respect. Mercury returns my nod. There is much understanding in this simple gesture. So this portal will let me just go anywhere. Literally anywhere. It'll let me go to other people, too. Interesting. Current system. Previous system. All the other systems I've visited. And all my bases I've made. Interesting. I don't know what to think of it yet. <laughs> Will you? I talk to you? Strange perfume surrounds this being. It is pleasant, if a bit stale. They look startled when I address them. Oh, hello, new friend. We've not met. You know that it's it's traditional to introduce yourself with an exchange of units? I don't believe you. But sure, why not? Thanks. Well met. Bye now. Nah, I'm gonna stay. You're still here. Hmm. Sorry, friend. I don't have anything to trade. Smell them. Tethys looks uncomfortable. Their pulse visible in their throat. All right. Fine. Look. I admit it. I'm not a geck. I'm just another traveler passing through. Well, why did you lie? Tethys hesitates. Have you ever crossed paths with the sentinels who patrol most of the worlds out there? Yeah. Then you know what it's like to be hunted by them. Suffice to say, the sentinels and I had a conflict of interest. And now it's in my interest to lay low here. Okay. Fair enough. Nods gruffly, but doesn't appear to be in a conversational mood. Perhaps I should return another day. Okay. I can do that. Another day, then. Oh, it's just a balcony. Well, in that case. Whee. Have I talked to you ever? Weird looking kitty like thing. Hello, like traveler. Here you are, safe. And so, very welcome. Iteration 23948290849249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249249
well. Okay, well in that case, away I go. Whee! I thought we received warp hyper cores. That's crazy. All right. Whoop to do. Didn't mean to do that. At least not that way. Okay. Might as well figure out where that one thing is. Okay, it was the hollow terminus. That's what it was. Hollow terminus detected. Beautiful. Where is it at? Okay. Where? Criminal rating elite. Okay, well, well then where is it? Can I beat them? Can I? Yes, I can. I can go to them and take the bounty. Mwahaha. Okay. Seems to be two ships. That's interesting. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I seem to. There we go. Cool. Oh, jeez. I was trying to pick up their stuff. Damn it. Okay, fine. You wanna, you wanna fight? Let's fight. Okay, well, that was short. <laughs> Alright, well, I got their... Got their bounty for doing that. It's great. I love it. And I got a journey milestone. Destroyed 30 starships. Interesting. That I've destroyed that many. I don't remember fighting that many. But okay, I must have. Alright. Perfect. Landing. And... Plop. Good. Might as well get what I can from the planet, since I'll be stuck here for a while, I guess. as well head up to that hollow terminus location but there's still some things i want to grab like that hey got some sodium nitrate beautiful all right done of those. I don't see why not, right? Okay. I thought I'd almost made it. Technically, I almost did. But... Alright. And... There we go. So I can climb up with just my jetpack. That's how much power my jetpack currently has. Nice. <laughs> Gotta love it. Alright, and up we go, and... Bop. Hollow terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. Activate. Signal match detected. Awesome. Hey, Artemis. What up? Have you triangulated your position? Let me know when you're ready to receive some data. Sure. Excellent. We're really getting somewhere. Hold on. I'll just... 
Artemis transmits some data of their own, a star chart showing the skies around their location. I don't have any equipment. I don't know where I am. I don't even know how long I've been here. So I've taken an old-fashioned approach. I've sketched the stars. You should find plenty of locals able to match our star patterns. My ship was nearby, so we can't be far apart. I'll patch my translator through so that you can understand what they're saying. You'll need to calibrate it first, but that should only take a few words. Good luck. Or maybe see you soon. Hmm. New technology. Artemis's translator. I just need a whole bunch of copper. Alright. Um, maybe I'll just connect it to my current translator. Technology I have microprocessors. That's easy. I just need the copper. That's going to be the hard part. Okay. Automatic translation device. Device must be calibrated by preloading with existing translation data. Device must have network connection to Artemis to function. Without access to host translation service, onboard circuits allows re limited real-time translation of a small number of words. Interesting. Okay. Well, I just need to gather some copper. Shouldn't be too hard. I think there's plenty on this planet. Probably. I haven't actually checked, so I don't know. So, I guess we'll check. Perfect. Alright. Uh, there's paraffinium. Cobalt. Cobalt. Copper! Wow, that's a ways away. Okay. Uh, is there any closer ones? Cobalt, right there. That's not as close. Paraffinium, that's not what I need. Okay. Apparently, a lot of stuff... But not all of it I need. Okay. Um, I could go there on foot or I could take my ship. My ship is probably a little faster to do so. Up we go. Alright. Head over. Okay. Land somewhere a little flat. Like right here. Did say a little flat, not ideally flat. But it's good enough. Good enough. Close enough for government work. Uh, oh! I've never identified the sodium plants? Well, I guess I will now. Because I'm going to get a whole bunch of them right here. All right. Perfect. Whole bunch of sodium. And that's a creature that will absolutely want to kill me, as is that one. Okay, time to walk away. All right. Well, this is what I needed. So I should have that equipped. And all this copper looks green. That's weird. Anyway. Alright. Slowly but surely. Collect all the copper I can grab here. For no other reason than to shore up my own supply. Alright. Well, I think I emptied it out from this direction. Might as well head up to this direction. Alright. Almost missed that a little bit. That would have been embarrassing. Okay. That gets mostly all of it? Yeah, I think that gets mostly all of it. Alright. Cool. And just to make this look better. 
There. A little better. Perfect. All right. Got all the copper I needed for that thing. And put that back on the ship. And then put that there. And then finish this with the copper. Perfect. Wow, I got 500 copper out of that. Cool. All right. Fantastic. Alien life forms speak in a variety of languages, none of which are initially understandable. Learn their languages in order to communicate. Speak with aliens on planets and space stations to learn their dialect. Learn words from ancient ruins and historical sites. Install an auto-translator in the exosuit to translate conversations. That would be nice. I just noticed that there was some dihydrogen there, but I can't get it now. A little too late. Alright. Uh, we. Alright. Okay. Inhabited outpost detected. What? The, the... Okay. Didn't expect all of them showing up right here. That was definitely not expected. Okay. Let's talk to them, see what they got going on. <laughs> Once again, a little too spendy for me, but just by a little bit. That's mildly frustrating. Um, that's... Let's go around. We actually have money this time. Um, what? That was weird. It didn't want to let me, uh, move forward. That's really weird. Okay, what do you got going? You're a combat specialist. That is affordable. At least for my amount of units, but you don't got a lot else going for you other than combat. I'm not quite sure I'm willing to go with that. Uh, how about... Um, you. Let's go to you. See what you got going. Just talk to you. Let's see what you got. You are a combat specialist that is way too expensive. At least for what I can do. Do got pretty cool stuff going on. Uh, if only I could afford it. Alright. I'm pretty sure I didn't talk to this one. Let's give him a look see, shall we? Exploration specialist. I think yeah, I did talk to them actually. Damn it. I talked to them. Um don't know if I talked to them. Okay. The Great Traveler? The honor of joining my travels? What? Okay, that's definitely not what I expected to hear. You actually got some decent stuff going on in this direction. Crew fired up notes leaky. Leaky how? Ah, doesn't matter. I can afford you. So, onward you go. Alright, and with that, I'm going to head to my capital ship. Oh, large ship proximity. Uh, of course. I have to deal with that constantly. Unsafe trajectory? What do you mean? Oh. Because it isn't actually letting me go forward for some reason. Eh, it doesn't matter. go a little... Whoa, okay. A little faster than I expected I would. But it's fine. Alright. Just kind of float a little bit. Whoop-a-doo. Didn't mean to do that, but it's fine. Alright. On to my freighter we go. On to my capital ship. 
And I'll deal with the inhabited post later. First, I want to make sure I get an expedition going. So I can make some more money. There we go. Alright. Talk to the navigator. Ah, Traveler Entity. Core of X is pleased to report exciting navigational research. Alright, cool. Let's look at what we got. Not a lot. Conducting commercial relations. That's really the longest we got. Honestly, the more likely to bring me a lot of money. Uh, let's see. I got a trade. Uh, combat and industrial. Ugh. Don't have enough going for me on this setup. Yeah, it's not going to be able to do this. At least not like this. Okay. Well, let's find one that's a little more doable and will still get me some decent rewards. Uh, Rahimi's Search. It's a balanced expedition, so... Exact, specific stuff won't matter too much. The Azaki, the Uchima's Mirror, and Ayabu's Vision. Yeah, that should be fine. That should be just fine. And that does... Really? Really? This one doesn't give me a fleet rating worth it? <laughs> really? Oh. <sighs> okay. Well. Screw it. Let's do it anyway. Why not? Okay. Um... Put that there. Put this here and this here. There we go. Make some more of those. And we put this here. I guess I'll put these over here. And put navigational data. And I will put salvage data here, where I have a lot more storage space for that. Okay, copper. Let's put what we collected here. Cool. Um, more of the gold I collected here. And then the silver I collected in here. Good. And that empties out all of this. Um, I kind of want to put this here. Uh, put that there. Put that there. Put this here. Then move this here. Cool. There we go. Looks a little nicer. was an attache case from Resident Evil for a moment. I know. But I kind of wanted to do that. Am I weird? Yes. Do I care? No. Okay. Alright. Let's put that there. Um, Multi-tool mining beam. Might as well charge that up too. I'm doing charging shenanigans. Um, hmm. Not much else I want to do with my inventory here. So we'll call that good. Um, we sent out the fleet. We'll just have to wait for them to come back. In the meantime, since I'm back on the capital ship, I think I should be able to pull from these again. I can! Cool. Cool. All right. That's where I want it to be. I got another antimatter housing for some reason. Put that where I want it to be. And I guess... Oh yeah, that's right. I almost forgot. I learned how to do it 
and then I almost didn't install it. That would have been silly. Not that. This. And there. Oh. I need more microprocessors, though. Can I make more is the question. I can. I just need carbon nanotubes. <laughs> All right. Well, uh... It might be better to have a whole host of these. So I'm just going to make as many of them as I can hold. There's that. Then I have enough now to build this. Which, can I change the color of it? Apparently not. But it was worth a shot. And I guess now I just need to, yeah, I think that's it. Just, yep, I'm good. I can connect it to the local market and where I can just sell crap I don't need. Perfect. And let's make four more of these so I can make four more of these. Beautiful. All right. Oh, I don't have a lot of chromatic metal left. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um. Oh. Apparently this makes chromatic metal too. I noticed it's activated as well, which would be... I know that you can act, have activated copper... So I'll just put this on a second line instead. But interesting. Well, I'm going to grab 94 of these and throw them into my refiner. The personal refiner on my person. And then with this, I guess I'll grab the 59 here leave a hundred behind. Actually, you know what? Let's go with nine instead. Leave 150. And let's see. What do I got? 47 out of that. Cool. In that case, we'll just put that there. And then throw some of the blue stuff in here. I make four for each one of these activated indium things. Cool. I make a whole bunch of chromatic metal out of that. Awesome. It's freaking awesome. Okay, let's recharge the energy because I spent quite a bit doing all that. There we go. And I'm up to 261. Cool. Just need to make more as I go on. Still... Shouldn't be too hard. Should not be too hard. At least I don't think. So, maybe. Anyway, uh, get on my ship. And get over to that inhabited outpost to do some translation shenanigans. Translator calibration. Zero percent. Well, we're gonna work on that. Okay. That's not what I wanted. I want this one. There we go. Alien life form. It's just... It's just marked as alien life form. Not like an outpost at all, which is what I'm looking for. And it's apparently the approximate location, too, so I gotta find it further from there. Well, I mean... This is probably it. Right here. There we go. Why is there always more of these? So weird. Well, hello! Analyst entity Makosil? I think that's how you pronounce it. Hi. Unknown life form. 
the Coravax Convergence Gezer Lifeform Data Lifeform Glah. Okay. Request dialect help. Analyst entity Makosil flashes their lights, their mind in direct communion with my own. They teach me a word of their language. My brain feels refreshed. As I turn to leave, analyst entity Makosil whistles a sharp tune. They must have appreciated my interest in their history as they hand me a chart with directions to an ancient relic. Planetary chart. Cool. How, how do I use it? Oh! I just plot the route and it'll lead me to it. Just like that. Alien artifact detected. Tell me where? Yeah, and it's on the planet still, in fact. Interesting. Okay. Alright. Well, what do we got over here? Oh, destroyer of tongues. Ha. Huh. Compared with my current multi tool. This has 19 slots. As opposed to my six. Oh, that's be so expensive. <laughs> every time, every time. I just don't have enough money. Every time. All right. Technology merchant Odubovka. I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay, whatever. Teleport receiver. Ship-mounted teleportation of... Okay, alright. I'm buying this. I could use this. Item received. Item received. Waveform recycler. Powerful lateral processor inserted into the multi-tool scanning system allows the device to recharge at a significantly improved rate. Well, I can't do that right now, but that is a good thing to have in the future. So, might as well get that. Coolant network and a shield lattice. Hazard protection battery improved by 20%. That's pretty nice. Increases the base capacity of the hazard protection system, allowing the user to spend longer in hazardous environments without recharging the exosuit. Well, that'd be nice too. Coolant network. User is guarded from extreme heat damage on scorched worlds. Hmm. device is charged by mineral extracts found in hot environments so I would need phosphorus for it. Operates automatically once constructed within user's exosuit inventory. Okay. Yeah, I don't want it right now though. Install the shield lattice. I could do the shield lattice right now. Honestly. I, um... Do need to move this though. Move it over here. There we go. That seems worth it. Actually, you know what? I'll put this here and put this here. Better. Oops. Ew, that's not what I want. I want this. Uh, install shield lattice where I have the sodium nitrate to do it. I just need the antimatter. Great. That's what I need. Okay. Build some antimatter just so I can do that. Perfect. And now, I have a little extra protection. Hell yeah. Gotta love it. Alright, and then the starship, I can install... That cool new thing. Yes, this. Need antimatter and wiring room. Okay. I just need to buy wiring looms. And do you have them here? Please tell me you do. You do not. Crap. Damn it. Damn it. Doug. Dimma. Damn it. Owner of the Dimsdale Dimma Dam. Okay. Welp. Can't do it here because they don't have the wiring looms I need. Fantastic. Gotta love that. 
can't open the other one. That's stupid. Alright, uh, I think I'm done here. Whoop, wait. Aha, I got some nanites. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I have done the thing that I could do here. At least the things uh, that I could do. So I guess now it's just uh, head over and get that before. Oh, well. I might as well do the. Uh... Oh, I don't have. <laughs> don't have it within my reach, because I'm not next to my ship. That's how that works, I guess. Alright, uh, might as well do the antimatter half first for this. Which is easy. And just pops it in there. I just need the wiring looms and I'll get that later. Uh, I guess I'll get that next episode as well, because we are way over time. Holy shit. Okay, so... Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to, well, you know, explore as best as I can. Finding uh, new cool things, documenting them, and then taking them for my own use. Which, you know, is kind of what I do best. And also trying to find Artemis at the same time, which eventually we will. One will hope, and then hopefully I don't run into any sentinels that want to kill me. Uh, as long as they make it easy for me to kill them, that would be good. So, yeah, there's that. So, yeah, we explore their next episode for you.